I'm Bob Kuszynski. I live up here in northwest Wisconsin, and this garden has been the love of my life for the past 15 years. It was, it was either the garden or spending more time in bars. And since my wife said no to that, I had to divert my energies elsewhere, and this, is, this garden is what I created, and it's been a lot of fun. My friend Justin Howland made this piece for me about, oh, maybe 10 years ago, and it's truly a work of art. I really take care of it because, see, oh, oh. whoops, I gotta do that back on, I guess. But it is a work of art. <laughs> uh, it, it signifies land, uh, wind, an air, you've got the eagle, the bear, the wolf, fish. It's all things that are about what this area here is about. Gardens we wanted, so gardens we made. The problem is that we have too much shade. So we planted hostas. Many plants you'll see at least 210 different ones by Margie and me. We group some by color, size, and texture too. Some are variegated, green, yellow, and blue. We thought it would be fun if we grouped them by name. The hostas are different, but the groups are the same. Fabulous Females is a group you may want to view. All kinds of hostas, including one named Sue. Holy Hill is another, as well as some more. You'll see what we mean as you start to explore. Some by the gazebo. Relax there and have fun. Have a drink. This is what I do, instead of using a shrink. A stream running fast. Flows into a pond. Look for the fish both near and beyond. The Tiki Garden was added, so travel is unnecessary. But don't use ours in February. Take off your shoes and enjoy our beach. A tropical vacation is within your reach. Look off to your left, what do you see? Oh, some full sun plants, how could that be? There's a gristmill and peony place as you walk along Stroll, Hollywood, and vines, you can't go wrong. Gardening is not for all, some think it's quite bizarre. Works well for me, though, it keeps me out of the local bar. This is, uh, the garden is called Holy Hill, and all the hostages here have religious names like Praying Hands, uh, here's uh, Earth Angel, and we go to this side, and guardian angel and lord in heaven and this is uh holy moly and all these are holy and overlooking the garden here is saint peter on the other side of saint peter is peter and he overlooks the gardens that have the hostas with the sexual names like strip tease honey balls uh pandora's box mr pig uh holy uh Full Monty, Minuteman, Mount Tom, Ryan's Big One, Twisted Sister. This is the garden of the fabulous females. All hostas here have women names. This statue here is called Nature. It's a sensual and powerful medieval queen. And it was done by a Czech artist in early 1900s. But there's Antonio. I have one named after my sister, surprised by joy. I have all of these women hostas. Jason and Kate, that's an exception because Jason's a gay guy, my Debbie knows, so I put him in here. There's Marilyn, Queen Josephine, Janet, all of the hostas are named after women. This is a garden that is, protects the other plants. It's a gargoyle garden. Warning, protected by gargoyles. Gargoyles, oh, give me a home where gorgoy gargoyles all roam, where the deer and the raccoons play. Stay away from the plants, you dirty piss ants, or your life will be cloudy today. Now, if you'll notice here, you can pick your ear, pick your nose, pick your butt, but don't pick the sucking flowers. In my early years, I used to get my rocks off. Now I get off on rocks. And that's why you see so many rocks in this garden. Here is a Japanese statue of happiness in our Japanese garden, of which all hostas are named by the Japanese. You'll notice, rub his belly for joy, his earlobes for wisdom, 
the gold in his hand for wealth and rub his balls for fun. Okay, this is the tiki garden. That it was built for my wife with the tiki bar and the tiki statue of chaos and the tiki entryway. However, it's guarded by my little friend, the turtle, and he keeps all the riffraff out. I'll show you what I mean. guards here and it keeps most normal people out of the garden. Okay. Here's the gnome homes. All the little gnomes are hiding over there. You see their little asses sticking up and they guard the sun garden. This is the only garden with sun. Here's my little friend that guards it. As you can see, it keeps most of the people out of the garden, which is nice. With that concludes the tour. I'll take my hey little... Hey, Uh-huh. He gets a little carried away at times. <laughs>